Welcome to the biggest Excel announcement since Dynamics Build Array Formulas in Power Query. You're not going to believe it. A pivot table auto refreshes. Hey, that's what the button looks like. But what does it mean? It means a pivot table acts just like formulas. When source data changes, the pivot table can update. Yes, indeed, this is new. And we've been waiting 31 years for this. So let's check it out. Now, as we all know, worksheet formulas used to be the only Excel tool that could automatically update when source data changes. But now, pivot tables can automatically update when that source data changes. This 100% does not mean that pivot tables replace all summary reports with conditional calculations that are created with formulas. And we'll come back and look at a bunch of examples where formulas rules. And of course, we'll talk about some of the advantages of pivot tables. Now, let's go and try it on the sheet. Try it. Now, at the top here, here's a list of the things we're going to try to see if everything actually updates. Here's our data set, date, video, and hours work. I'm going to click in a single cell, insert, tables, drop down from table range, or of course we use our keyboard, Alt NVT. I want to put it on existing, G42, click OK. Wow, this is exciting video to get a unique list of videos. Hours, this is a number field, so it defaults to sum. Let's change video 1, 8 plus 7 is 15. Let's change it to 10. Control Enter. It didn't update. Control Z. That's because we have to click inside the pivot table. Pivot table analyze. And there's this magnificent new button in the data group, auto refresh. As soon as I click this, now the button's on. I come over. I'm going to change this to 10, control, enter. That looks like a formula instantly updating when source data changes. Now when we click that button, right click, pivot table options. In the data tab, that becomes checked. Before we click that button, that was not checked. Escape. And if we go up to the universal way to have all pivot tables update on this computer, file options, we want data, edit default layout, pivot table options, data tab, this is where you check and then all future pivot tables automatically update. I'm going to click cancel or escape, escape. Now if I change this to video DD, control enter, that is just amazing. It's totally expanding down. And of course, the advantage of pivot tables is the formatting expands also. I don't have to do conditional formatting like with Dynamics Fill Array formulas. Now, control Z, I'm going to scroll up. Here's the list. Will changing data work? Meaning when I change it here, does it update in the pivot table? You betcha. So I'm going to check. Now let's check what happens if we have an Excel table and we add data. Now down here, there's an Excel table, pivot table, pivot table analyze. Now I haven't checked this yet. Let me show you right click, pivot table options, data. This is not checked. Cancel. But when I have a cell selected in the pivot table, select this button. Now, of course, in pivot table options for this pivot table, it is checked. Now, let's highlight control asterisk, and I'm going to use my move cursor, click and drag up. It's incorporated into the table, and instantly the pivot table updates. It looks like it's working like a formula. If I scroll up now, I'm going to check Will adding data to an Excel table work? Now, number three, will changing the Excel table name update as the pivot table data source? Now, yesterday when I did this, it did not. But check this out. Click in the table, table design. It's called F Sales. I really want it to be called Video Hours. Click inside the pivot table, pivot table analyze, change source data. 
Sure enough, it's looking at F sales, but now let's change the name. Video hours. Click inside the pivot table again. Yesterday when I did this, it did not update, but sure enough, I guess the daily update, getting rid of the bugs, it is updating. Escape. So we'll check this. We'll change in the Excel table name, updating the pivot table. You betcha. Now we already talked about one of the advantages of a pivot table. The formatting automatically expands whenever we pivot. If we go back over to pivot table auto update sheet, the big advantages for pivot tables, well, this one at the bottom, we already talked about automatic formatting. Really, the reason that pivot tables are amazing compared to formulas is because most reports that we create, some count or calculate percentages, and the pivot table does it easier than formulas. Another thing that's easy to do with pivot tables is group dates, times, and numbers. So let's try it and see if it will update. I'm going to click in a single cell, Alt-NVT, existing. Let's put it in J42, click OK. Scroll over. We'll drag date down to rows. I'm going to right click group. And I don't want days, but I want to do a little test. I'm going to say months and years. Click OK. Hours worked. There's our sum total. We'll scroll over to the data set. First, I'm going to test month. I'm going to change this to 9, Control-Enter. Wow, it's updating. And then down here, I'm going to change this to 2005, Control-Enter. That is a thing of beauty. So it's updating even when we group by dates. Now, let's try grouping numbers. Alt-NVT, existing. I'll put it in J52, click OK. Scroll over. I'm going to take hours, drag it down to rows. Instantly, we get a unique list. Right click, group, the min, the max, and I'm going to increment by five. Click OK. And now, because we've already grouped by numbers, when I drag any field down here, it defaults to count. So seven of the videos took three to seven hours. Six of them took eight to 12. Now, let's scroll over. And I'm going to put a number that's bigger, 15. I have not hit Enter. It should accommodate when I hit Enter. Sure enough, now it has 13 to 17. That is amazing. So regular data, grouping by dates, grouping with numbers, everything updates. Now let's scroll up here. Group dates, sure enough, it updates. If I change the year, sure enough, it updates. And group numbers also update. Now, the last thing we want to check is let's set auto refresh up in Excel options. So we're going to check this one right here. File, options, or the keyboard I've been using since the 90s, Alt-T-O. We go to data, edit default layout. These are universal settings that we can set for our pivot table. For example, show in tabular form is an awesome universal setting. But now we can go to Pivot Table Options, Data, check Automatically Refresh when Source Data Changes, click OK, click OK, OK. I'm going to insert a new sheet, Shift F11, double click to name it, Universal Refresh, and I'm going to type out a little data set. All right, so I typed out a little data set, a single cell selected, Alt-NVT, Existing, F3, click OK. Product down to rows. We want a sum of sales. And I'm changing this S to G. And when I hit Enter, that is amazing. And we can right click Pivot Table Options over to Data. And sure enough, it's checked. And if I go look up here, automatically checked. Now, this is an unbelievable game changer, but we want to remind ourselves. If we go back to Pivot Table Auto Update, now, we already saw the advantages of a pivot table, but what about formulas? Well, wait a second. There's 450 different functions. 
Over in a pivot table, we have 11 aggregate functions and 14 show value as calculations. And I included a sheet that shows the 11 functions and the 14 calculations. But 450, that's a big advantage. Now I've listed some of the common summary reports where we're making conditional calculations, where the formulas can definitely make the calculations, pivot table can't. Let's look at a few. Median, we're trying to get the median price for each supplier and product. Well, group by can do that, pivot table can't. Text join, I want to list the videos and not sum, but join with a delimiter the different hours. Well, group by can do that. How about direct formula inputs? Here's a report that shows assembly line posts and how many times they finish below 10 seconds for their particular task. I want to do one if. So I want to be able to type in a nine, control enter, report instantly updates. That simple group by does it just fine. Another example of formula inputs, how about having not a helper column where we calculate total sales, but I don't want that extra column. I want to do it right in the formula. Group by and XLOOKUP have no problem. Now on the sheet helper column, we absolutely could add a helper column. In this case, I did the calculation instead of in the formula. I just created a helper column. Now this pivot table is connected and auto refresh is turned on. So when I type in nine seconds, instantly the report updates. Now grouping, we love grouping in a pivot table, but guess what? When you group decimal numbers, not whole numbers like we did just a second ago, notice zero to 24, 25 to 49. There's no ambiguity in the categories. But up here with decimals, it always has a 25 there and there. Not only that, but in a pivot table, the upper limit is never included. So what if you definitely want the upper limit included? Well, then you can use a formula like frequency or count ifs. Now, regression, when you want to create a scatter plot chart, the source data cannot come from a pivot table. So if you need to summarize to get the x, y values, well, in this case, I used group by and some other functions. Formulas can do. Now, geo mean, that's a common calculation, especially in finance. That gives us the annual compounding rate. Well, you can't find that in a pivot table, but with formulas, you can definitely create this report. It can be done in DAX also. I have a video on that. And then in finance, the fundamental calculations, NPV or X, which is the best possible function to use when calculating net present value. Also, internal rate of return. Can't do that in a standard pivot table, but with formulas, no problem. That can be done in DAX also. All right, so boy, are we excited. Pivot tables can update just like formulas. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.